Hello and welcome everyone to more of my family history writing tips using artificial intelligence. I'm Coach Carol and today I'm focusing in on a process that I have used to transcribe handwritten documents from the past. What you're looking at first of all is my page in Transcribers. Now this particular piece of software can work magic. It's a little tricky to start with, but once you get the hang of it, it really is a bonus. So on the left, you can see the handwritten last will and testament for a great aunt of mine, Rosina Elizabeth Terry. On the right is Transcribus Transcription, the best it could do from that script that it was reading from. Lots of spelling errors and strange wording that you can see in here. Example, that one is meant to be sorry. And lots of funny wording here, which should, should be much clearer, but it's not. So what I wanted to do was to take the transcriber's transcription, so this document on the right, over to ChatGPT to see what it could do in transcribing it. To take you over there now. This is the end result of the work of ChatGPT, and I'll go backwards in a minute to show you the process. But this is the transcription, and it is in good order. Note the right spelling for the names of the people and their address and the various names of the trustees and executors and so on. It has looked at my information and given me a much better transcript. But how did I get here? Well, let me show you. First of all, take you back to this conversation with GPT. And my first question for GPT was this one, that I have a handwritten last will and testament and it's in PDF format. How do I share it with you for transcribing? And so chat gave me the answer. I first had to upload the PDF to a cloud storage service. In my case, I use Google Drive. Then I copy the URL of the uploaded PDF and paste the URL into our chat. Now I tried this at first and it came back with an error message. But on reiteration, it then looked at the document and said that I can go to this link, which takes me across to ask your PDF, which is the plugin that I'm using or chat and when we have a look at that this is where you upload the document so the pdf you can drop that straight into there and what that gives you is a code that you can come back here with and i'll just go up to the oops wrong one top of this one and that's the code that it was was given to me from Ask Your PDF. So that meant I could just paste it in place and continue with my questioning. And that's how it came up with the transcription. Note that it used Ask Your PDF. And that is an important part of this process. <clears throat> You'll see that I've enabled that plugin at the top of this conversation. If you don't yet have plugins, you need to do that from your, you just go down to the bottom here, go to your settings here, and you make sure that you have activated your plugins. So it's just a simple matter of clicking on that button. Once you have your plugins, and let's say I start a new chat, I go to my GPT-4, select plugins 
and then make sure that I've selected the ones that I want it to use. So I can have up to three in place at any one time. And I can go ahead and ask my questions and ChatGPT4 will choose the correct plugin for the tasks that I've asked of it. So if you would like to do something similar, if you've got an old document that you need to transcribe, like a last will and testament, then have a look at transcribers, first of all. I'm not an expert on that, and I'm not giving you instructions here, maybe later. But once you have it in a text format, then ChatGPT can help you. So I hope that's helped you in one step further forward in transcribing your old handwritten documents.